Hi, everybody. Today on Kids Craft Lab, we're going to do some stencils with chalk, and we call it Chalk It Up. Um, so let me go over some of the supplies, and then we'll get started. So if you have some dark construction paper, dark blue, black, that works the best. Um, whoops. <laughs> and of course, we have some chalk. I have some sidewalk chalk. And I also have some smaller pieces of art pastel chalk. Those are what we're going to be working with. And I have some scissors and I have a couple of pencils and pens. And I have a lot of different items to make our stencils with. I have some crazy things from around the house. I have a, a plastic egg left over from Easter. I have a couple of, this is a leaf cookie cutter. I have another cookie cutter here. It's a little dog. I have um, a heart shape and a star shape and a duck shape, all different shapes that I might use in making a stencil and I might trace them. Um, I also have a flashlight because I thought, hmm, that makes an interesting shape. I could make a stencil that looked like a flashlight. It would be fun. And of course, I always have some circles because circles are great for stencils and I just have a little um, jar that I'm going to use to trace circles and um, so I also have a really strong flashlight because I'm going to make a shadow and we can trace the edges of the shadow to make a stencil as well and I also have some things to make our stencils with. And usually when you make a stencil it's thicker than the paper that you're going to put it on so you can trace it and cut it. And when you use the chalk to rub over your stencil, it won't wrinkle. So I've got some, an old cereal box. That's really good for making stencils with. I have just a piece of cardstock that um, I accidentally printed wrong for something. And then here's another thing. It's a thick piece of manila paper, all of the, or manila folder. All of these things work really good for making stencils on. So um, I also, if you have a computer, you can also print out different shapes that you can make stencils with. So that's what we're going to work with today. And let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is, um, is make a stencil. And I'm going to turn the camera to the desktop. Oops. Yeah to the desktop so you can watch and see what I'm doing. And hopefully you can do it right along with me. Here we go. Okay, so there's my chalk. I'm gonna get that out of the way. We'll use that in a minute. So let me get my folder. That's what we're gonna make my first stencil out of. And I am going to, I was gonna rip it, but I think I better cut it otherwise. I may have a really jagged edge. So I'm using my folder as the stiff piece of paper to make the stencil with. And let's see, how big do I want it? That's pretty big. So I'm gonna cut it again. I'm gonna cut it in quarters so I can make a bunch of them. And then I'm gonna make a stencil out of my sheet of paper right there. So what one should, I think I'll make a real simple one first. So I'm gonna take my heart cookie cutter and place it in the middle of my paper. You know, I might even make, since some of these are small, I might even make two. In fact, I will. I'm gonna, that was a quarter sheet. Now it's gonna be even smaller. So I don't need all of this yet. So I'm gonna just trace my heart shape right around there. And right around there. Now you can see, oh, can you see the line that the heart shape traced? Yes, you can. So to make a stencil, I'm going to use my scissors. And to get it started, because I'm going to cut this out, I'm going to wiggle, 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 wiggle my scissors right on the line so I have a place to start cutting. It's kind of hard to cut something without cutting around it. So I've taken and wiggled the point of my scissors through the edge of my paper and now I'm gonna snip and snip and it's gonna get easier to cut the stencil around the shape when you get your blade right 
inside. There we go. So now I'm cutting out the heart. And what's kind of neat is when you cut the shape. There. You have the heart and you have the shape that's inside. And we're going to use both of those. I'm going to call one of those a negative and a positive. You can use both of these if you're working with chalk and making pictures out of stencils. So now I've got a heart one. Let's see, what else should I do? I think maybe I will do, um, will that fit? Yes, that's a good one. Sort of a star shape, star snowflake. And to tr I'm gonna trace this a little bit here with my darker pen so you can see it. So I'm just tracing around, oops. I'm just tracing around the edge of my star shape. And I got too close to the edge, so we're gonna make this little part smaller. <laughs> there we go, okay. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the heart, poking my scissors right through there. And coming up and around. And this is going to be kind of a rounded star. It's going to be great. Now I can cut out a lot of the little waffly shapes from this shape, but I think I just want a little bit of a rounded star slash snowflake, whatever you like. And there we have it. So there I have my negative and there I have my positive. So I have a heart and a star. So let's try to do something on a little bit thicker um, cardboard. So just in case that's what you've got to work with at home. So I'm taking this, I took the cereal out of course. I ate all of the cereal, yummy shredded wheat. And now I've got this big piece of cardboard and it's printed on one side and blank on the other. We're gonna use the blank side. And I'm gonna make this a little smaller, just like I did with the folder, because when you open up some scrap cardboard, cereal box cardboard, you know, you've got a lot to work with. So, and I've got a little flap here that I'm gonna cut off so I can make this small enough to work with. It doesn't matter how straight you're cutting right now because it's just the edge. Okay, so I've got the front of my cereal box. I'm gonna cut that smaller so that you can work with it. There we go. All right, so turn it over. Cereal box cut in half. I'm gonna turn it over and use the brown side. Okay, so I've got a lot of different items that I wanted to use. And I, I said, hmm, flashlight. And that's just about the size that we could use for a flashlight. Any, any um, 3D object, like a flashlight, you could use. Now you have to hold it tight. And now I am going to trace around the shape of my flashlight on this piece of cardboard. So you can use any shape that you want. There we go. There, flashlight shape. And you can kind of make it better looking if you need to. Yeah, there we go. So you can cut around that one. Now, if you use cereal box cardboard, <laughs> it's a little bit harder to poke your scissors into it to get started to snip out the inside. But be patient, wiggle it little by little and you can do it and then you can start to snip around the shape that you made. Okay, whoops. <laughs> it's a little bit harder to cut too, but that's okay. And snip, snip, snip. Now with this one, I don't think I am going to use the shape that I'm cutting out because it was a little bit hard. Now I'm working on it. I got around the corner. 
And I'm getting around the shape. Okay. I think I'm going to do one more stencil, and then we're going to start actually using the chalk. So there it is, my flashlight positive and my flashlight negative. Woo, out of cardboard. So I have a bunch here. I have a star, a heart, a flashlight. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do, this is a fun one, <laughs> is a dinosaur. Now this is just a regular sheet of paper and I could use it just like that if I wanted to. But what I'm going to do is it's a little thin. And so if you use some chopping and rubbing all over it, it might wrinkle a little bit. So what I'm going to do is cut out my shape really quick. And cut it out again on a stiffer piece of paper. So this is a pretty simple shape. You can use things that are cut or are printed off in your computer. There's lots of images that you could use. Whoa, so there we go, coming around the dinosaur's nose and over around the dinosaur's leg. Whoops, there we go, dinosaur leg. Okay, good. And I don't need those scraps. So now what I've got is a dinosaur shape and I could use it just like that, but like I said, it's a wrinkly piece of paper. So I got some cardstock and I'm gonna put the dinosaur right in the middle and I'm gonna gently trace around my dinosaur, holding him down with my fingers. Whoops, I'm not on camera. Holding him down with my fingers. There we go, around his head, and around like that, and around oop, the back of his body, and his tail, around his legs and his belly, up his foot, and around his tail again. Okay, so now, there, you can see that I've traced the dinosaur with my pencil. Um, and wiggling my scissors gently so I don't poke my fingers through. There, now I can snip him out. And it'll be a great stencil. A lot better than just regular paper. Or you could, oops, you could have, um, printed it directly on cardstock, but not everybody has cardstock laying around their house. So I'm just showing you a way to, whoops, a way to do it without having to buy a whole lot of supplies. Okay, so I'm cutting out the dinosaur. And now, as soon as I get him cut out, we're gonna start doing some chalk. Oh, I, as I'm cutting him out, you might have other things at your house that you can trace too. Do you have some cool shaped puzzle pieces um, or blocks or things that you play with? You can look for shapes all around your house, things that you can trace. Doesn't matter what it is, you might get a really cool effect. Okay, so I'm almost done with this dinosaur. Come on, dinosaur. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so those are stencils. There's the positive. There's the negative. Okay, so we got a whole lot of cool shapes to work with. A dinosaur, a flashlight, a star, um, a heart, a couple things. Okay, so now for our black piece of paper. I'm going to put that right in the middle so you can see it and move some of my other supplies out of the way. There we go. Great piece of paper right in the center. Okay, so I think I will start with a heart. And so, like I said, I have a positive and I have a negative. And so what I'm gonna do is maybe first use this one. And you can place it anywhere you want on the paper, it's up to you. And I'm gonna use my sidewalk chalk because I'm gonna fill it in and I am just gonna, and it doesn't matter if your chalk gets on your stencil. You don't have to just go like this. You can rub your chalk over so it goes right up to the edge of the stencil you made and hold it still. And 
There we go. Now when I lift that up, ta-da, heart, <laughs> a heart in chalk. So what will happen if I do the positive? I'm not sure exactly what will happen. I think I'm going to do white. And I am just going to, instead of tracing around like that, which I could, I'm just going to rub around like this. I'm going to fold down my heart and rub the chalk right off to the edge. See that? So I'm actually creating the shape of the heart by using the chalk to rub all around it. Okay, I'm just going from the edge of the heart off to the edge of the paper, all around the whole thing. Or I could use the flat side. Well, I'll do that next. Anyway, so I'm just making little marks off like that. There we go. Now what will happen? I'm going to pick it up. Whoa, cool. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add some other colors. And, you know, you can always overlap some of the things that you do. So I'm going to do that one again, but I'm going to overlap that one. And maybe a good color to use for that would be purple. So I'm just going to rub over my... I'm going to cover up some of the white marks I made with the other one. But when you overlap them, you get a great heart collage right on the edge. How you place them. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. So another thing I'm going to do is I am going to maybe do this heart. And instead of using the tip of my chalk, I'm going to use the side of my chalk. So I have, let's see, it's hard for me to decide. Oh, I've got a great orange color. So I'm going to use, instead of the tip, I'm going to use the side. And I'm just going to rub it like this over everything and hold it steady. There. Now I moved it a little bit. So maybe I will trace my shape. Yeah, it's up to you. You can chase your shape afterwards, too. But cool. So I'm going to do that one more time. Maybe over here. Maybe with this one. Well, with this one. There we go. So you can decide what you would like to do. Sometimes I'm a little bit indecisive. I start one thing and then I go, oh, I don't want to do that. And then <laughs> I try and I do the other one. And if you do a color over a color, sometimes they mix and they look really cool. So that's, that's my heart one. So let's try something else. I'm excited to try the flashlight. I want to know what that's going to look like. So the one that we made, uh, oops. Oh, and another thing, when you work with chalk, you're going to get dusty. <laughs> and I just touched my paper. So now I have dusty fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, and I have dusty fingerprints on the other side, but that's okay. So we're going to use my flashlight and see what that's going to look like. So I'm going to take my flashlight and maybe put it right here on the bottom. And I am going to use some yellow and just rub it off the edge of my paper, off the edge of my stencil, all around to see what that will look like. And around back here, chalk dust. Okay, did I do it? it looks like I did. Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty neat. And so I am going to do maybe one with my negative over here, one shining down that way. So I put my negative there and I am filling it in by using the side of my chalk. Like this. Okay. Whoa! 
Oh, I think I even like that better. And you know what? It's a flashlight. I think we need to draw some details in it. So I have a piece of white chalk and I'm gonna draw some flashlight beams coming out of my flashlight. Maybe some orange flashlight beams because it will show up different. So you can play with chalk. Chalk is really fun to draw with. <laughs> well, so that's kind of looking crazy. And you don't have to stick with the same shape on each paper. You can stick in a second shape. So there's my star. I think I need some blue and I'm going to rub some blue over it like this. Okay, so there's my flashlight one. Blue is very colorful. I like this. Oops, there we go. Shiny things. And you can even do just a little piece sticking off the top. Okay. Very good. <laughs> All right, so there's my flashlight one, bright and shiny. Okay, so let's do a dinosaur one. Where's my dinosaur stencil? I just set it down here a minute ago. Oh, there it is. Let's do a dinosaur one, the one we cut. And let's do it really colorful this time. I'm gonna turn it like the dinosaur is walking. So there's my dinosaur. Let's do a really colorful one. Let's mix the colors. I really like that blue when I was using it before. So I'm gonna do it again. So my dinosaur, I'm gonna rub some chalk on there. It's gonna start by being blue. And my dinosaur is going to change to a different color. And chalk really blends well when you start rubbing chalk on dark paper. Whoa, look what you get. So my dinosaur is going to change colors. He's got blue and red. Oh, how about a little green? <laughs> And I'm so, this piece of sidewalk chalk isn't as easy to work with because it has a flat side, but I just decided to make his head green and I'm just rubbing right over there and down. So now I'm really excited to see what that dinosaur is gonna look like when I pick him up. Oh, cool. <laughs> So I think I need to use the other solid dinosaur and maybe just, so the other side of my, um, the other side of my cardstock was printed on. So I'm gonna put part of my dinosaur right there and see what I get. Now I'm gonna use um, some of my smaller chalk just in case anybody has some art chalk. But you can do kind of the same thing with, with the art chalk but you can also draw some lines. But I'm just gonna rub around my dinosaur all around to make the shape. And we, and I, his tail's hanging off the side of my paper. Oops, there he goes. His tail is just hanging right off. So there we go. Aha. So it almost looks like the shadow of my colorful dinosaur. <laughs> kind of like that. And I really am loving, oh, you know what? Let's put something in the sky in this picture right now. I had, had a heart, I have a star. So I'm gonna use the star because it looks like this dinosaur is looking at something. I'm not going to use the whole star. I'm just going to use part of it. So it's up in the corner. And I need some bright, bright, pretty yellow. 
Let's see, that's what I'm doing. No, you know what? Yeah. I have two colors. I have white and yellow, and I think maybe, let's see what yellow looks like. Rub that to the side to make a star in the sky. My dinosaur picture. <laughs> and there we go. Very cool. I'm liking that. All right, so you can make lots of different pictures, lots of different colors. I just wanted to show you one other way to make a stencil with kind of a bright light. And so I have a bright flashlight right here. There we go. And when I turn it on, hopefully, oops, you will see <laughs> the light that it puts out. And I'm gonna turn off the light in my room here. There we go, so it's a little darker. And I have um, a whole box of crazy puzzle pieces that were also stencils I had. You, know, and you might have some blocks. So I took out a little fish and I'm gonna make a shadow stencil. So, um, Here's my stuff. Oh, here we go. I need a piece. This is from my folder. So I'm gonna make a shadow stencil on a piece of my folder. So here's my fish. And I'm gonna set it in front of the light and oops, maybe it'll stand up. Yes, it will. Can you see the shape that the light is projecting behind the fish? So now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna trace the shadow just like this around the shadow that I see and around his nose and then around his tail. And I can barely see where his belly is, but I can guess there I'm completing the fish belly and then I'm gonna put a little eye on him. Here we go. So there's my fish. So you can make shadow stencils just like that and then use them the way that we had before. So that's a fun way to do it. And of course you cut it out and then use it in a positive and negative way the other way. So I think I'm gonna do one more picture with as many pieces of my, um, as many, stencils as I can. So I have a really big piece right now and I'm going to use all of my stencils on this just for fun with lots and lots of different colors everywhere. Of course Mr. Dinosaur has to be in there and then oh let's see where's flashlight? I lost flashlight. Oh here it is. Okay flashlight is going to be on there. Maybe flashlight will shine down on dinosaur. I think that's a good plan. Heart, star, heart, dinosaur, and another star. Okay, so the big piece that I've got going here. Make sure that you can see what I'm doing. There we go. All of them on there. We'll move it around as, as I'm working. So let's do flashlight first. I think flashlight should be purple. So I'm gonna go like this. Come on, flashlight. You're gonna be purple. Rubbing that over. Ah, there we go, flashlight. Now I think I want a really cool looking heart. So I'm gonna go like that. Oops, I moved it, there we go all over the place. And I really did like that blue color. Wow, that was so cool. And I'm using the sides of my chalk because it's fast, the fastest way to do it. Plus it blends with some of the other colors. Okay, so I did heart and I did star. Oh, that's looking good. And I think I'm gonna do purple on this heart. And I'm gonna go all the way through. Oh, 
got a green dinosaur this time. Okay, let's do a green dinosaur. Rubbing all around the green dinosaur. I hope you're having fun using chalk today. So you can use chalk outside on your sidewalk too. <laughs> but this is another good use for I'll this for a second. Go around my dinosaur. Okay. Oh, dinosaur nose. Gotta get ya. There you go. And then star. I did blue before. Do red. It's a supernova. Uh oh. I think this is the last one, the last stencil that I have. Picking it up. So that is really colorful. I got all of those shapes. <laughs> and you can also do parts of shapes too. Everywhere. And they can overlap like my dinosaur. So it's really fun, just experiment with and see how things turn out. All right, so I'm going back to the FaceTime camera and let's take a look at what we did. So there we go. Hi, all right, so here's my big piece. Oops, it's upside down. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that's really colorful. And you can see all of the shapes that we made. <laughs> and then we did the hearts. I think this one is my favorite one because the dinosaur has so many colors in him. It looks like a shadow and there's a star in the sky that they're looking at. And flashlight! Woo! <laughs> okay, well, thanks for joining Kids Craft Lab today. Hope you have some fun experimenting with all of the stencils and learn some things about how to make them. And have a great day and join us again next time. Thank you. seen before. And here's where you get to make a choice. Was it ah, a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex? And I'm just gonna stick some pine cones in my box and um, then the fun starts. I just start rolling them around. The air rushing out of the balloon is gonna push that balloon up. So let's see what happens. All right, one, two, three. Oh, wow. So that's how rockets kind of work. We are going to build two different kinds of rockets today. Work on as fast as you can. 